Okay, so what I have here is a piece of choke cherry. Uh, it's about four and a half inches by, by 14. Obviously, I'm not going to use all that. I actually cut this down, not down, but I cut it up. It's been down for a year and a half or so. Just laying out. Um, see, it's got a bit of rot going on right here. I've marked centers on it on both sides, so you know, essentially I'm going to have to turn this off. This is what we consider a choke cherry here. I don't know what anybody calls it anywhere else. It has these, uh, these little berries. And then uh, I was just trying to get some spalting and figure in it, which it already has some of that, but um, get this loose stuff off so that Look at that, nice and rotten. Just loose stuff off of here so that it don't beat me up too bad. And I think I'm going to do a goblet. I tried one the other day. Or the other two days. Somebody broke it a couple times. But I put it back together and finished it. Kind of. It's finished. How's that? I'll show you a picture. Anyways, I'm going to put this between my centers here, which I already marked. You've seen that on the ends, and we will uh, get to turning this. It, it won't hold still. Shaky. Why are you so shaky? Yeah, it might be a little wobbly. I don't intend to use it all. What I think I'm going to do is put a, put a mortise, no, a tenon. I put a tenon on this end so I can get it in the chuck and hold on to it. And then uh, I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. True it up, I guess, because I am a little off there. So. All right, so let me get some tools sharpened, which, because I didn't do that already. See how prepared I am? I'm trying to get this all done in a hurry. Anyways, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so right at the moment, I can run it about 1,250. And, uh, I'm gonna try to get this, you see it's punky, I messed with it a little bit. Try to get that off of there, and I guess true it up a little bit. I do have a little bit of a wiggle to it. Uh, since, you know, we need to practice the safety, but I really don't want any of this hitting me in the face, or anywhere else for that matter, but here we go. Guys, I bumped it up to 1500. Close enough for now, I guess. All right, it'll run at 2,000. Probably gonna run into you guys. Right in the way. Alright, so last week I gave a shout out to uh, Kyler over there at uh, Wood Turner Kai, and uh, I was watching him do one of these. And what he says is to stick her in like a drill bit, turn it, and swing, which I think I'm gonna punch you guys when I swing. <laughs> so I have to move you out of the way again. Uh, maybe I can put you back here and not run into you. Well, then you can't see. Are we still running? Yeah, we're still running. Look, I'd never make that five minute challenge thing. I'm 23 minutes into this already. Screwing around. All right, well, I had to tighten up my chuck because apparently it was loose. I don't, I don't know how fast I can do this before it tries to come off there. Well, that looks okay at 1250. So what he says is to push in, turn, and swing. So if it doesn't appear, I'm right on the middle. I 
and maybe I need to be less aggressive because I'm a long ways from it. Okay, let me try that again. Excuse how I was trying to throw it off there. I'm not real comfortable with how far out that was, so I'll mark my centers and try this again. Um, I probably won't make you watch all of that nightmare I just did, but I'll I'll put that in there where it was wobbling around. So right at the moment, I'm just marking centers or kind of a center somewhere about the center. Which is pretty close to like a center. Something like that. Oh, I'm gonna put my stud center back in and cut my tendon again. I wasn't comfortable with it and I kept getting a catch and throwing it all over the place. So. I don't really want to get hit by it, so we'll try this again. Guess that ain't working, is it? Okay, so I've sealed this up. I haven't sealed it up yet. I'm a little frustrated with this whole deal I'm trying to keep it in this chuck. I've sanded it, was it 120 or 150, 220, and then now the 320. Um, I'm going to put sanding sealer on the inside here, Yorkshire grit, and then uh, probably Hampshire sheen. And when I get done with that and I come back, we'll, we'll work on the rest of it. Hopefully I can keep it in the lathe. Sneak peek. Okay, I'd take a day off. I was a little angry at this thing and lots of colorful words came out, so it's now tomorrow I'll try to finish it.
All right, yep, yeah, that's really starting to bug me. So I'm gonna sand this 120, 220, 320 Yorkshire grit, and then uh, I'm still struggling with these traditional tools, but I'll get there as soon as I figure out how to sharpen them, I think. I don't know, I'm not happy with it. I don't know what to do with it. Anyways, let me get this sanded up and, well, I'll just speed it up. So we're sanding to 120. It's only like 500 RPMs, and then uh, I'll do 220. Like I said, and then uh, 320. I know I don't have to do that, but I like to finish better when you do. And then Yorkshire grid it. And see what it looks like, I guess. The other one turned out oh so much better. I'm just not real happy with this one. Practice, 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 I guess. Get to turn on the camera. All right, this is just a cellulose sanding sealer. Sealed up. The Yorkshire grid on it, a bit too much. But anyways, that's our green here. Don't want to go in. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Yeah. I thought it'd have a little bit more, a little bit more figure to it than that. Everybody uses a skew chisel. I have no idea if I know how to use it right or not, but let's try it. <laughs> what do I got to lose? This must be an art. The little saw works the best. All done screwing around with it. Well, other than take that little nub off. I don't know. I'm not happy with it. I mean, it completed it. It's been a rough week, so uh, there it is anyways. Look at that. I went and scuffed it up. I wasn't even trying. Anyways, I get this sanded off, scribble my name on it. I guess we'll call it done. I'll put some pictures up. I'll put some pictures up of the other one I got that I did first. Doesn't feel too bad. A little thick here, but I left a little pedestal thing, I guess. Anyways, there it is. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, I don't really blame you. This is only my second attempt with it. Um, I started off a lot longer 
and found that probably because this stuff wasn't quite dry that it just compressed it and let it come out when I was trying to do the end of it so I went from whatever that distance was to begin with down to I don't know, somewhere about there which isn't what six seven inches but I don't blame you if you don't like it I'm not real happy with it I finished it that's the only thing I'm happy about it looks good so it's some um, interesting markings in it I don't know what this dark is Yeah, got, we got a couple cracks. I don't know if you can. There, you see it? It's, that's right where the pith is there. And I got it here also. And get it in the light so you can see it. Anyways, there's one runs this way, and one runs this way, and one up the center there. I don't see anything in there. I'm gonna call it good. Sorry about the video. I, I, I was running out of ideas. I think I'm going to redo all the other ones. Um, everybody asked a lot of questions on them. Like I hadn't intended on doing any instructional videos or explaining what I was doing. It was just a, hey, look, watch how this got done. So, but anyways, the flaming flower bowl, the scrap bowl, the, uh, I'm not positive. Everybody's done a economy bowl, but um, I got a lot of questions on that one. I got a lot. I'm still getting a lot of questions on the pine cone pot, so I'll probably redo that. I've already covered the making of the mold. I wasn't really correct on some of that, as I found out after I turned some of those, so I need to redo it again, because uh, I think I mixed my colors into the resin a little a little too heavy, so they, uh, I had to go pretty thin in order to get the light to come through it. But other than that, well, I'm probably going to cover a lot of those things again, since I have interest in them now that I wasn't expecting. But I would have failed the goblet challenge. It took me way too long to do this. Thanks for watching.